A dominant performance in the A-Sun quarterfinals by the Liberty Flames. They take it to Eastern Kentucky by a score of 77 to 57. And Kelly, they got it done on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, they were tremendous from the get-go. Just dominating inside. They knew the scouting report. They helped. They covered well. The high hedge leads to a 30-second violation. They took charges. Three charges called in this game. D. Brown, the recipient of that one. Yeah, tremendous effort by them. In the third quarter, Jayla Johnson came out and she had a spark trying to get her team back into it somehow. Well, it was interesting because Coach Todd had just said she's a rhythm player. Once she gets going, that's when we can expect her to put some buckets down. It's exactly what she did coming into that second half. Unfortunately, it was too little too late. And then for Liberty, Priscilla Smingy, a career day. Uh, just tremendous on all, all fronts. 18 points for her, four or five from beyond the arc. Yeah, only missed two two shots on the entire day. And she chose the right time to be at her peak performance. Love to see that as we continue in ASUN tournament play. Here's a look at our top performers against Smingy with 18. Dee Brown, a quiet 16 points. Look at the <laughs> stat line for her. That was a great day with seven rebounds, six assists, and Bridget Restack coming in with 12 rebounds as well. That trio was great for LU. I, I love that six assist line for Dee Brown because this is not your point guard. This is a player that does not have her ball in the hands, uh, in her hands distributing yeah. as much as a Kennedy Williams or an Iverson. And to come up with six assists in this game is, is so big. Yeah, it was big. We take a look now at the final stats and Liberty just uh, dominating again by 20 over Eastern Kentucky. They await their next opponent.